So the buzzing topic that is circulating all over social media is that Bojobantan got back his US visa and he is in the United States. There is video evidence. Now when this happened, people are saying, but it seems as if Bojobantan defy gravity. He is beating the odds. He must be stitching. There must be some sorts of stipulation when he got released that, listen, if you give up this person or that person, you can get back the visa. Well, people, here are the facts. Bojabantan actually took it to trial, did not plea. Bojabantan got his time. He did the maximum time that he could do under the law with any sorts of good time. He was deported back to Jamaica, not voluntarily deported back to Jamaica. So people have said to themselves, then hold on a minute. People live in America for a couple of decades, then get charged with D-R-U-G-S, then get deported, never to see United States again. Well, people, here are the facts. These facts existed before Bojabantan. Based on the fact that Bojabantan got some sorts of D-R-U-G-S charge, he was deported because of that. He was not a resident, meaning green card holder. He was not a citizen, definitely. He was deported back to Jamaica. So therefore, he would not qualify for a non-immigrant visa, meaning come up as a green card holder. He would not qualify as a visitor to come to the United States ever again. However, what he would qualify for is temporary work visa or humanitarian visa as if he lost a family member, a son or so, and he was to come to the United States on that basis. Well, you and I know that his son lost his life. However, that F-U-N-E-R-A-L is supposed to be in Jamaica. Don't quote me. So therefore, persons were saying, maybe this is because of some sort of humanitarian visa. However, people, I am here to tell you that this is because of some sort of temporary work visa or work permit. Now, this law has been in place for a very long time. And what this temporary work visa means is that you cannot be the average. That means eh, you can't live from Jamaica and come to America after some sort of drug conviction to work in a some sort of hotel sector. You cannot come and just do the average work as in a teacher. What this means or why Bojibantan qualifies is because he is an artist. So therefore, there is a special thing in the law that says, well, there is no other Bojibantan, there is no other artist like Bojibantan that can go to America if he is needed to do some sort of project, be it music. So therefore, they did not change the law to facilitate Bojibantan. The law has always been in place. So therefore, the expert will tell you that yes, under the criteria, Bojibantan would qualify for some sorts of temporary work permit. Not a permanent green card, no sorts of visitor, no sorts of non-immigrant visa. Now there is a saying in a Jamaica that goes something like this. Donkey says the world is not level. And I say this to say that there are so many persons standing in a line in the embassy in Jamaica in the sun. Never had a conviction, them record clean like Jesus, Paul Paul record. However, they are turned down in drones by the immigration, by embassy. There's even persons that lose family member, daughter, son, mother overseas and them apply for some sorts of humanitarian visa. However, that visa was never granted. Even under humanitarian, these people don't have a record either. So what this tells you is that money talks and BS walks. It tells you that Bojabantan has the links in the right places, as in DJ Khalid. He has top lawyers in the immigration that have people that is working with ICE, customs and in, in immigration enforcement. So therefore they are the decision makers. So therefore DJ Khaled or whatever links Bojabantan has, 
is linking with the links of link, meaning decision makers in an immigration. And you've heard me say on several occasions that sometimes it is better to be lucky than good. Well, people, let's remix this. Sometimes it is better to be rich than poor, famous, and have power. That power and fame always works in your favor, especially if you have friends in high places. Money and power, it helps you to defy gravity. Now when we think about the fact that Bojo Bantan is the same artist that sing that song, Boom Bye Bye. So therefore, we would have thought, Rational would have told us that the fact that he was deported, the fact that he was convicted, took it to trial, waste the court's time. The fact that he was one of those most vocal persons as it pertains to conspiracy theory, as it pertains to the big C situation. You would have thought that the odds would have run against him. He would be the last person. So therefore people have said, no man, it seems as if Boja has to be some sort of informant. Boja has to give up some people. But the truth and the fact is that there is no sort of evidence to substantiate those snitching claims. Boja took it to trial and he lost. Boja got deported. He was back in a Jamaica. It has been 15 years since he's been free walking the surface in America. However, less than 24 hours ago, he made some sorts of posts himself along with um, DJ Khaled that he is back. He is back in a system like Shatter. The Shatter is back. So like I said before, money talks and BS walks. The average person does not get this sort of chance. But the average person is not Boja Bantan. The average person would not qualify under the stipulation, special circumstance, temporary work for persons that are famous, persons that are separate from the average person. So therefore, if you have some sort of project, meaning some sort of album, as in a DJ Khaled, so once DJ Khaled goes into his lawyers that have link in an immigration customs and he says, this man is different, the sound is different. Yes, he has charges. Yes, he has been convicted. However, he falls on the criteria of his eligible for a temporary work permit based on specific needs, based on specific skill sets. There is only one Bojabantan. And a lot of persons were saying then, hold on a minute there. I thought that this was some sort of humanitarian because of his son. But people, if you check, the son is supposed to be buried or have his final send off in a Jamaica. So therefore it makes no sort of sense. People, men don't know, like I said, money talk and BS walks. And the next thing that I hear people saying is that, well, it is the same case as it pertains to Busy Signal, that Busy Signal got deported and then he received his US visa once again. But people, here's a difference as it pertains to Busy Signal. Busy Signal was never convicted. Busy Signal was never deported. Busy Signal was on the run after a case, a pending case. That case did not go to trial. That case was not to the point in which he was just to go for a sentencing. So therefore, he was convicted. No, he was just a fugitive. He left. He was traveling under a different name. They realized who he was and they came to Jamaica, extradited him back to the United States. So therefore, he had zero conviction. Maybe after he went to court and he beat that case, then he left meaning voluntarily so therefore he would not fall into the same category as a bojabantan who is a convicted felon and again there's only one busy signal special circumstance for temporary work permit so therefore people like i said you are going to hear all sorts of conspiracy theory However, what Bojabantan can no longer do is talk about the system because the system always has some sort of loophole for the rich and famous, such as himself. Such is the case in this case, point blank and period. 
So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.